Okay. So we're back working on the 66 today. So I've been trying to figure out a way to do this and to get the cab mounts and everything. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, taking the seat out, pulling out the mat, and then redoing, starting with the floorboards. And trying to get those where they need to be and then work on the cab mounts after that. So my goal today is to get the seat out and to assess the uh, floorboards and where we're going to go from there. I bought new ones. I showed you that in an earlier video. So here we go. I won't bore you with taking the seat out. I'll just bring you back and forth. Okay. So I've got the floor mat and the seat out. And this brings back some memories. Uh, as you can see, there's some repairs that have been made. I made those many years ago. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, galvanized, and I brazed it. Uh, this was when I was in my twenties. I did this. Uh, oh, look at that! That was on the original sticker when my dad bought it in 1022 of 65 that's part of the original ownership I've got that tag but anyway there's some uh, repairs been done on that floorboard across here and here there's a patch right there and pretty much the same thing on that side but I learned a lesson brazing galvanized metal uh, make you sick <laughs> so if you're gonna use do that brazing with galvanized you better and I was even outside I was in my my friend's Troy you've met him before on the 57 Chevy wiring but we were I was out in his front yard using his acetylene setup so anyway gonna get rid of the tank out of the back here never have liked that but other than that she's out so I'll bring you back once we get the a little further along okay so there's the patch panel for this side they've made it a little big uh, I don't want to cut it. it's supposed to be clear up to here I think I'm gonna cut it so I stay down below here so I'm gonna cut it right through right through here sorry about the camera work it's hard to do when you're alone but I'm gonna cut this right through here try to stay below that stay below the clutch hole uh, that metal up there is all good so we'll leave it alone but draw me a line cut that out show you when it's done okay so I've cut that off there's the piece that I cut off and it fits pretty good so I'm going to take and I'm going to cut out this bad stuff cut the whole bottom out and uh, probably stay in this area just cut down around here first Cut down around here first, and then across here, cutting out this bad stuff. There's a bad spot right there, and then cutting this out. So I'll do that, and then we'll see what's underneath. Okay, I'll show you a little bit. See, I got my gear on. See if I can get you a good shot. Yeah, that's as good as any. Give you a few minutes of that.
Okay, we're getting into it. That's the cab mount. I've started hacking it away, drilling out the rivets. Come around to the inside. I've got that big old hole cut out. And now I'm just trying to get the cab mount off. And then we'll decide what to do with the floor. It's really good. I might have to cut it back here and then come across just so that I can make these match because these are different in my pans that I bought. So we'll see, but I got to get that cab mount out of there. It was totally destroyed. But that's what we got so far. Okay, I'm back at it. I'm going to start fitting the uh, cab mount. Like I said, this is a, that's an aftermarket. It's a little different than the one I took out. This is all one piece. The other one was two pieces. I think it's going to work. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up the body. Uh, I've got to trim this side so I can get it the hole where it needs to be. Then I'm going to put the mount in and get the uh, get it setting where it's supposed to be and then uh, kind of build around that. So I'll give you a shot when I've got it up in there after I get it all trimmed up. Okay, so I've got the body mount kit right there and I'm going to take and put it in there. I've got the body mount kind of trimmed but until I get the mount in there and put some weight on it so I'm going to put that in there and see what happens when I put some weight on it. So we'll go to that point. Okay, so they don't fit exactly. This crease right here fits really good, but it doesn't fit over here. So I made a line, and I'm going to... Okay, so I've got that in there. I got it fitting pretty good. I don't even have, oh, one of my clamps fell off. Must be why it's, but it's fitting pretty good along there and along there. And we come in here and put the new floor paint. There you go. Wow. A little bit more tapping and trimming and it'll be ready to go in. Awesome. So, so the title of my last video was, you gotta tear them apart before you can make them pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but that was all rotted out. So we got that. We've got this, and all of this I can rebuild, I think, once I get the fender off. But, yeah, coming along. I love the gap on those doors. Just getting that mount sitting in there on the right rubber. They're almost perfect. So, yeah. We're getting there. Could probably, 
I could probably pull that fender off now. I think I'll get the I think I'll get the the uh, cab mount, pull it out, clean it up, get it tacked in, so I know exactly that it's going to stay, and then uh, I'll pull that fender off. So, moving on. Okay. So we're back out on it. Uh, after I got the right mount on the right side, <laughs> it went together good. I got this is just sitting in here. So now, in order to get in there and sand it and tack it and get it ready to disassemble, I've got to take the fender off. So I'm going to pull the fender off and then uh, see where that takes us. So I'll bring you back when we get the fender off. Okay, I got the fender off. That uh, that's a first, first time ever. Now I think I'll uh, try to get that inner fender out, and that'll give me access to that, so I can clean it up and get it ready to weld. And you can see here. We got some rot. Got an access panel right there that I don't know what it goes to. Don't know what the point of it is. But yeah, this is still pretty solid. We're good here. So I think I can fix all of this. Yeah, I can fix that. Pretty wild, look at that undercoating. That's why it rusted. Factory undercoating. Oh, that's crusty. That's going to be the challenge, is those inner fenders. Well, we'll see if we can get them out of there. I'll bring it back once that off. What's cool about this old truck is the hood can stay on. You don't have to take the hood off to take the fenders and the inner fender out. Which is kind of cool. So let me get that out of there. Okay. That's the fender and the inner fender well out. You can see the cab mount down there now. And you can see the old motor. Yeah, I don't know about these fenders, inner fenders. They're pretty roached. I may have to break down and spend some money. Fenders I can fix. They're no problem and all this other stuff. But this is, I mean, look at that. That's just, that's just gone. Nothing there. So, we'll have to see. Maybe I can bend up a new piece. We'll see. But we got to tear the other side apart. So, starting to look like a restoration project now. Alright, there we go. Okay. So, there it is, tacked in. There. And then I made that little patch up there. And then I don't know if you can see my line, but the line's going to go around here. But that's the next thing is I'm going to cut the floor plan out. I've got to rebuild that. I don't know if you can see it very well. There you go, big old gaping hole and the the rust that's in there. So I think I think I ought to rebuild that first before I put the pan in. So I think I'm just gonna start cutting little pieces and do it a little bit of a time and uh, then put the floor in. 
but what a difference. And that's sitting down on the cab mount and that door shuts perfect. So here we go. Okay, so I've cut that out. That piece was in there. This piece was in there. So I think I'm going to fab up some new pieces I'm going to order. I can buy this piece in here. I think I'll buy that. I'll make that just a little easier. I don't know how much comes with it. So we're pretty much done here until I can get that. But rusty, rusty. Starting to come along. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, just big old gaping holes. This is the piece I can buy. And I think I can cut it off and weld it in and make that a lot nicer repair instead of trying to bit piece it together. Got a weld there, some stuff out here. But yeah, leave the door on so I can make sure my gaps don't change. But yeah, and then this is what happens when you do when you do body work. Every tool yawn. <laughs> you gotta get out. Anyway, so my friend Troy was just over here and he asked me about this ball on the front of my truck and I don't want to get too sentimental or whatever you want to call it, but that hitch, my oldest brother Kirk worked at the welding place that uh, put that on there and he put that on there so that when you we used to go to a place called Soldier Creek Fishing and uh, it was a dirt ramp at the time and this being a two-wheel drive truck if you backed it in and dropped your tires over the edge it was really easy to get stuck so putting this ball on the front you hook the boat to the front and then you and then you uh, could push it into the water and it would keep your back tires out of the out of the water and so you you could get out you know it was, had all that weight from the camper and stuff and last week uh, my oldest brother passed away and so I think I'm going to leave it on there in his memory and also in memory of my dad. The ball is going to stay on the front of the truck. So that's my sob story for today. Uh, bring you back when we get some more parts and we start putting it back together. <laughs>